I will try. So thank you and good morning everybody. My name is uh, Jean-Louis Ayon. I am a, a medical doctor and uh, I belong to the movement for happy the growth. And it is the other association that uh, work on the growth here in Italy. So today uh, we will try to speak about health and the growth. And uh, since 2009, uh, our association started thinking about the connection between health, medicine, sickness, and uh, the growth. Looking back at what uh, Ivan Illich theorized more than 30 years ago. And in 2011, we created a national group for discussion when we elaborated our thinking and we try to also sensibilize make sensibilization on the population. And uh, that's, we know that the myth of growth pervades every aspect of uh, our society. And so, uh, just not uh, economy. And so we think that uh, also the concept of health is not immune from uh, this influence. Just to make an example, uh, think about uh, our system. More pollution we make, more disease uh, will happen. More disease, that means more medicine consumption. More medicine consumption make the GDP, the gross domestic product, growth. And so the economists will say uh, that the more we are sick, more our well-being is growing. Uh, that's amazing. I don't believe that. Uh, and, uh, and so, we, we think that we have to, to think about that. And the aims of this uh, workshop uh, will be think about that in, uh, in three uh, directions. Uh, first, we would like to uh, reason and to underline the bad influence of the growth system on the current health system. And second, I think the most important one, and uh, it's uh, a field in, in, during, uh, in which during the last 30 years, very few researchers uh, think about, uh, to, to promote so, a redefinition of the concept of health and medicine in the vast conceptual frame of the growth. And last but not the least, uh, just not speak about that, but try to, to make some concrete project in order to investigate and propose the appropriate solution. And I will try to speak very, very fast uh, because I would like to leave you uh, uh, time for discussion. But uh, the only thing that uh, I, would like, I will try to do uh, is uh, make a, a proposal proposed frame for, uh, for the following discussion. And uh, so what uh, we, we mean for health and the growth, for the growth medicine? I think that applying the growth frame into the health field will mean first, uh, using a term of uh, Serge Latouche, uh, to, to make a decolonization of health imaginary from go ideology. And, uh, and that should imply, beside a change in medical practice, a revaluation of values and uh, epistemological pr principle. We are nowadays the basis of scientific knowledge. And for example, I think we have to go uh, from objectivity to subjectivity. Now, sometimes doctor uh, see the patient like uh, a good, uh, uh, a thing, you know, and but have to, to look at the, the, the person, the unique person with his subjectivity. We have to go to, from reductionism uh, to see the patient like uh, a sum of his organ, of his cell, to look in the whole person uh, holistically and uh, his complexity in the biological, social, psychological, and cultural manner. We have to, to go beyond materialism uh, and looking also the spiritual part of life. And 
that means uh, not to refuse reductionism, to not see the organ, to not see the material, but to, to go also to another field. From mechanism to probabilistic uh, and, uh, view, like Heisenberg theorized, from quantity to quality, from the neutrality of the science and of the, of the doctor to the recognition of uh, the importance of affectivity and of the relationship between the passion. We have to recognize not just the limits of our planet, but also the limit of our knowledge of science. Uh, of the, we have to recognize that we are not omnipotent. So the limitedness of uh, our knowledge. And uh, also to, to have, uh, I think, uh, a way of living more in harmony with nature and not like uh, with science uh, and progress to dominate uh, everything. And uh, similar uh, to applying the, the growth in an economic point of view, I think it's similar for medicine. For example, nowadays we are, in my opinion, like gears, uh, humans are gears uh, of a system which the fundamental basis are economic needs and uh, humans are the means to achieve productivity, growth of GDP quantity. The growth means to put again human needs at the center and, uh, and the economy, uh, like the gear, the, the means to achieve a full realization of human being. That, that means that the growth to break these chains to uh, and similar I think is uh, for medicine uh, uh, medicine uh, the growth medicine in my opinion is uh, to break these chains nowadays under the economic pressure the passion has became a gear in the health system a health system that sometimes uh, aim not to the patient health, but to productivity, to efficiency, to GDP growth, to the interest of stakeholder, more directly or often indirectly. Applying the growth frame into health field, that means put the patient at the center and the patient need and the health system to see the health system like a mean to achieve a full biopsychosocial health. Uh, biopsychosocial, that is the definition of health by the World Health Organization. And, and finally, uh, I think uh, if the health is viewed in this holistic way, social, psychological, uh, we know uh, World Health Organization say that uh, to achieve for all human beings in the world uh, this health, we have to grow. The, the JDP have to grow, then there will be a resource for everyone. But Latouche tells us that uh, gr this growth is toxic uh, for our psychological and social well-being. So, if we want to fight for, uh, for health, for health for all, I think that it's impossible to do in that without challenging the current system and try to, to go eh, in the road that the, grow, the growth show us. Eh? Thank you very much.